что. Okay, good enough. All right, that was surely fun. All right. Yeah, this axe is amazing. I love it. I love it. I'm so glad I bought it. Oh, and this is... No, this is not another quest. It's just... Oh, no, it is! To the Chamber of Bone, it is another quest. Uh, but we did this quest on the last run, but that's okay. We'll do it again. Um, I want to clear out the level before we go... Well, now, fuck it. Let's just do it now. Get it over with. Where's the door? Oh, you have to hit a switch to open this. That's right. God. YouTuber's life yet? Uh, what's that? What's YouTuber's life? Oh, wait. Isn't that a new game that came out? It's like a new uh, indie game. I heard it's it's like I don't know. It's like what it's like to uh, beyond the oh, hall shit. of heroes lies the chamber of bone. Eternal death awaits any who would seek to steal the treasures secured within this room. So speaks the Lord of Terror, and so it is written. And so it is known. Yep. So it opened up that room. So. So now I can go down there. Uh, but let's uh, let's clear out the level first. Wow, I actually have to use a heal spell during the fight. Ooh, a great axe! Oh my god, that could be bad. Any any time you get a great axe like this, it, it it's definitely gonna be hardcore. Another scroll town portal and an amulet. Oh man, it's been so long since I've seen an amulet. Ugh, okay. Trying to make it big on YouTube, it's fun. It's okay. Yeah, I heard it's I heard it's fun. Um, I've seen some I've seen a cynical guy play it who just said it was full of shit, but it, it looks okay. It looks like kind of like a interesting way to do like a card game. So. Blah, blah. I'm still glad that at my armor rating, I'm like barely taking damage. I mean, I'm, I'm obviously if I stand here long enough, I'll die. But yeah. The thing is, though, PewDiePie isn't. I, I mean, now, yeah. It, yeah, he's pretty talented now, but I mean, when he started out, he was no different than any other YouTuber. He just had a personality that everyone clinged to, and also was just randomly successful too. So I mean, like, and I think that's why so many YouTubers get pissed off at PewDiePie. I honestly don't care. I think he's, I think he's so right. Hold on a second. That Chinese you were hearing was from my roommate. Hmm. Yeah. 
guys. Nice. I almost am tempted to use magic because I'm sick of chasing these assholes. God damn it! They run across the fucking room. That stupid asshole made me pull more guys. Ugh. Too preoccupied killing everything else. Yep, that's all there is on that decapitated body. Yeah, I don't have a problem with PewDiePie. I I don't subscribe to him just because a lot of his stuff is a lot of nonsense. Because at this point, he can. I mean, being the most popular YouTuber, he can pretty much do whatever the fuck he wants. And he does pretty much whatever the fuck he wants, so... I don't know. But I don't have a problem with him, I just don't want to watch his stuff all the time, so... I watch it every once in a while, though. I can't even carry a scroll. I really am full on shit. God damn it! Oh my god, these fucking assholes. Okay, I gotta leave. I'll come back for this. Yeah, he's he's entertaining, but not entertaining enough for me to watch all the time. So. I don't know. I'm indifferent when it comes to PewDiePie. He's he's all right. Got another town for the thing. Throw some money down here. And let's. Uh, I I'm curious to see what this great axe is. Friends. It might be Stay better than the axe I just bought. Ooh, resist all and hit points plus 18. Yeah, that's better than mine. Oops, no, no, that's not better than mine. Uh, no. Uh, let's see here. I'm curious. Curious. Whoa! Oh, fuck. Okay, so I go down in hit points, but I'm still over 100% hit, so it does slightly more damage, and I go down in strength. Now I'm debating which one, which one. Actually, I can solve this. Whichever one sells more, I guess. Whoa, what can I do for you? Well, that one sells for less. 
I'm not sure. I'm not sure. What do you guys think? Let me know what you're thinking. Yeah, we're gonna sell that. So, oh, shit. Actually, ah, uh, fuck it. Um, emulator. So... So... The question is, which one should I keep? The one I just spent all my gold on, or this one? So this is one, and this is two. I mean, I go down in strength, but as you can see by the damage output, uh, I, I still do more damage with this thing, just because it, it does more damage. And I'm still over 100% hit, so I'm still guaranteed to hit whatever I, I strike it at. Take the money. Uh, what do you mean by take the money? Uh, you mean, you mean, because this, this axe sells slightly more than this one, so... We got Master's Axe of Titans, which first time I saw this, I was like, holy fuck. But then this axe is, it's com comparable. And this one does slightly more damage. And it doesn't matter that my strength goes down. I lose 7% hit, but at this point it doesn't matter. So, sell the higher price one? Okay, yeah. Whoa, what can I do for you? Okay, so let's see. Yeah, this one sells for more. And it sucks, I just bought this too, but eh, whatever. Are you selling any other premium items? Fuck no, it's the same items you've been selling the entire game. Bastard. Okay. Alright, well, yeah. Yeah. I guess we'll just go on to that. Uh, I'll go sell these items then. That kind of sucks. I spent all that money on that I on that axe, and then I found a better one, anyways. But oh well. Use a mace when fighting the undead. Okay. I'll, I'll remember that. I still have my I mace, so. soul in I just answers. dropped it on the ground, so. Shops only change stock when you level up. Oh yeah, that's right. God damn it. That's right. I forgot. I keep forgetting that. Okay. Good point. Of course, they're not going to have better items. Because look, I still have a shit ton to go before I level up, so. Yeah. And yeah, if you look at my stats, you're probably saying, what the fuck was he thinking? You're right, what the fuck was I thinking? I don't know. <laughs> I shouldn't have put so much in magic, but to be honest, I like being able to have magic in case I need to use it, so. But you still don't need 50 magic, so. <laughs> Now time to kill these motherfuckers. Yeah, see, it doesn't matter. And I do slightly more damage now. Anytime you get a magic or a unique great axe... Oh man, if you get a unique great axe, you're, you're, you'll never need another item again. Or another weapon again, because... Unique Great Axe is like one of the best weapons in the game. I think there's like two of them. Or maybe there's three of them, I can't remember. Why do you like an... Uh, why do you like the original Diablo more than two or three? 
Three is the worst in my yeah. I, I agree with you, Delicious Llama. Three is is the worst because it takes all the it takes all the most tired parts of Diablo and does it over again. Especially since it's pretty much Diablo 2. Diablo 2 was much of an improvement over Diablo, but what Diablo did was genre defining. It basically made uh, doing procedurally generated areas popular. You you could argue that Diablo was the precursor to the roguelike game, and that's you could argue that because a lot of it is procedurally generated, and it you know even though Diablo is is linear, it doesn't feel linear. It feels like Every time you go into it, it's going to be different. Um, so, I don't know. That's what I feel like. So, yeah, in my opinion, D3, I agree with you, MP or MLP fan. Um, Diablo 3 was made basically to make money, it's basically a more polished version of Diablo 2. And also, I hate the random loot generation in Diablo 3. They, it's just, it's to the point where it's like destiny levels of bad. Just because items are so easy to get in Diablo 3, it's not even funny. Yeah, they just... They honestly did Diablo 3 just because people wouldn't, for two reasons. One, because people wouldn't shut up about it. And two, because they could make money off it. That's pretty much why. They didn't do it because they wanted to do it. I mean, they were planning on doing Diablo 3, but then they scrapped it. And then they brought it back. Magic is not always what it seems. Well, I don't know what the fuck that did, but it did something, I guess. So. Yeah, it's, I mean, I, I'll still play Diablo 3, like, once I get to it. It's not, it's not a horrible game, it's just not as fun as 1 or 2. And 1, like I said, like I said, despite the flaws, it's genre-defining, basically. Like, no one, like, after Diablo, everyone tried to do pre procedurally generated games. Well, I shouldn't say after, it wasn't until a few years later when you saw more procedurally generated games but still Diablo I, I mean that's what Diablo is most known for is the dungeon crawling which was epic in the day when this came out all right we oh shit I, I didn't do this shit over here hold on let me go do this real quick I love Diablo though the original Diablo is amazing also, another thing I like about Diablo is the music. Even though the music drones, oh, it, it just repeats itself after a couple minutes, but it's not boring. It actually, it sets the mood. It sets the tone, which is so awesome. And very few games do that or have trouble doing that. I think I've explored every area in this level. And Diablo is general is genuinely a fun game. I can't remember how to get to the cow level. I don't know if the cow now this this version of Diablo I'm playing is like the the original version without the the major patch. They came out with for it, um, like halfway through the life cycle of this game. All right, Chamber of Bone. He says some shit. Oh, I thought he said something. But... Yeah, once I get to Diablo three, people are probably gonna zonk out, and I'll probably get all the people like, "Dude, you should do this. You should do that. You should blah blah blah." Now. You know, another thing that's wrong with Diablo 3 that I didn't even think about, but is that Diablo 3 is the most linear of the three, man. It forces you to follow a path. Whereas 
Diablo is probably the one that you least have to follow a path. You just keep killing shit. Um, Diablo 2 is... Diablo 2 actually improves upon a lot of things in Diablo, including making the maps bigger and making it so open that you can go... You don't have to just follow the straight path. You can keep killing stuff all around. Diablo 3 limits what you can do so much it is and that's another reason why it's not as fun it limits where you can go i mean so much and they made the game easier which they didn't need to do at all because the game wasn't that hard to begin with just take your death already you bastard Okay. I'm not gonna go in there yet. Actually, I am gonna use a spell when I open that main door because it's filled wall to wall with things, so it's not worth it. Oh, oh fuck. Say that. I love how his head just flies off. Also, that's another thing. If you notice the death animations, they are way more gruesome than anything in Diablo 2 or 3. They toned down the violence so much after this game. Which, they didn't need to do that, but they did it. I gotta pawn some of this stuff. Yeah, I, I gotta go back to town, I guess. So Let's go ahead and do that. Anyways, I'm sorry, I'm talking quite a bit about this, so. <laughs> but yeah, uh, the reason why I like Diablo 1 more than all of them is, first of all, it's a genre definer. Um, second of all, it's, it's just a very well-made game. And it's, it's fun, you know, it, it doesn't take itself uh, too seriously, it's not. Hello, my friend. Stay a while and listen. It, it's not so linear, so yeah. There, yeah. I'm going back. I know there's a lot more down there. I'm just uh, getting rid of this stuff. So. Well, what can I do for well, you? Well, what can I do for you? Uh, okay, yeah, I haven't leveled up yet, so let's see what else we got. Uh, fuck. I don't feel like going all the way over to the witch. Um, let's grab this. Alright, that we go. Oh, you know what? Oh, never. Oh, okay. The gold club. Oh, sorry about that. Yeah, no auto map available in town. Now, it would have been so easy for them to make a map of the town. Like, when you see, when it says no auto map available in town, I, I, I have developed a few games, so what that means to me is that they didn't have enough time to actually put in a map or just disable that function in town. They just decided to write that out real quick because they thought they had to. That That's what I'm thinking. Like, I feel like this game was even rushed. Like, because they could have fixed, they, they could have done some more stress testing with the click controls. Because... That is one of the faults of this game. The click controls are a bit atrocious. They they do fix them in Diablo 2, but... Alright, so... Um, 
Okay, I'm gonna use firewall here because th this is gonna be wall to wall with fucking enemies, so. Of course, it didn't put the firewall where I wanted it, but man. God damn it, I wasted that. Oh. Yeah, I'm out of space. Um, okay, so time to go back to town again. Oh, I should pick up that composite photo. Damn it, but I don't have enough room, so I'll just come back for that, I guess. Damn ads. Yeah, there's a lot of them in there. Let's see, so... My friend, stay a while. I like how you can just throw all your shit on the ground and nobody gives a shit. Yeah, gold mall. Actually, that might. Let me look at that again. Hold on. So, what was that one I got? Iron. Iron bow. Of yeah, fuck that. Now let's see this. Eh, mine is better. It does more damage. So. It's wow. not bad though. Do, not sorry. bad for this level. Well, I'm, I'm just going to keep the short sword just in case. Um, Let's drop this on the ground. I also need one of my scrolls. Scroll of town for them. I still haven't bought any rejuvenation stuff yet because I haven't really needed to. What ails you, my friend? I don't think... I don't think there's any quests. Let me ask Ogden. Greetings, good master. He's Welcome usually the, the one that the gives you sun. Quests, so. Or just keep the mall as a fallback. Well, I already have the heavy... How may I well, serve you? Well, I already have the heavy axe as a fallback. Um, this one here. So I'm going to keep that just in case because it does slightly more damage. But it doesn't have as much hit. You know what? You're probably right. I should have kept that one, but yeah. Meh. It's okay. It's okay. I'll get over it, I guess. It's not such a big deal. Oh yeah, that's true. It is a blunt weapon, I guess, but yeah. Alright. Where's that bow? That might be worth keeping that composite bow. And then, ladies and gentlemen, we get one of the most unused spells that I use in the game. Because when I first saw Guardian, I thought it was... I was like, oh man, this is gonna be badass. Nope, it's it's pretty dumb. I don't know, I feel like Guardian is a slap in the face. It it does decent damage.